From underground testing facilities to secret elite clubs, there are so many hidden places that the government nor the elite want you to know about. I'm Melissa Vladi, your host, and here are your top 10 hidden places that the government doesn't want you to know about. In our number 10 spot, we have Track 61. This is a train that was actually hidden from the public for a very, very long time, as it was a private train for President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Apparently, Franklin did didn't want the public to know when he was going to New York, and so he had a private train made for him. Naturally. And of course, his train had to have a private secret station, and that was called Track 61. He couldn't have just stopped in Grand Central Station, he would have been bombarded and spotted in no time. Anyways, apparently the station has long been abandoned, but at one point was a place for wealthy travelers and politicians. In our number 9 spot, we have Oak Ridge. Okay, so this is a place that was once hidden that the US government didn't want anyone to know about, so whatever, it works. Oak Ridge was a place in 1943 that thousands of workers, soldiers, and scientists were kept in order to work hard on the Manhattan Project, a top secret project for the government that not even the workers knew what the project was about. It was so secret that they weren't allowed to discuss what they were working on with each other, and of course they weren't allowed to share anything with anyone outside of work. They were made to take lie detector tests regularly. About 60,000 acres of land around Oak Ridge was purchased by the government to ensure that they had the required space to reach their goals. Pretty wild. Apparently this was one of the best kept secrets in World War II. In our number 8 spot we have 404. 404 is an abandoned nuclear testing city. Well, largely abandoned. There's still about a thousand people living there. But yes, you heard that right. There is a city in China that was created for the purpose of working on nuclear devices. The government carefully selected people from all walks of life that could contribute to their goal of creating this nuclear device and moved them there. It took four years to load up the city and six years to create the nuclear device successfully, but they did achieve their goal. Around 2006 was when the city slowly became evacuated as there were quote, large scale cave-ins. I guess the houses weren't being kept in good shape, but in any case, fascinating to hear that they did this. In our number seven spot, we have the North Sentinel Island. Okay, this place is such a trip. When I first heard of this island existing, I definitely had a moment where I said out loud, yo, <laughs> how many things do I not know that I don't know? Also, isn't it just like a trip that there will be things in life that you don't know, that you don't know? That one just makes me wanna say, yo, every time. <laughs> Uh, my mom loves me. Okay, so back to the reason why I'm yelling so much. There is an island that is home to a tribe called Centelese, and this island is forbidden to everyone. If you go anywhere near the island, the people that are standing guard will either hunt you down with an arrow or kill you if you end up on shore. The people have lived there for over 50,000 years under the protection of the Indian government. The somewhat blurry pictures that have been taken of these people on the beach shows you that they are living in another period than us. It's crazy to think that in some part of this world, technology does not exist. I wonder if we'll ever see anyone escape the island someday. That story would honestly be epic to hear. In our number six spot today, we have the Lascaux Cave. The Lascaux Cave is allegedly a cave filled with absolute treasures. It's a cave that can only be assessed by archaeologists and is completely closed down to the public, but probably for a good reason. The cave contains paintings that are supposedly 17,300 years old. Apparently the Paleolithic paintings are quite vivid and depict stags, cattle, and many animals. I'm sure there's so many places like this in the world that we've never been told about because we're just regular people. I'm just your regular basic gal who loves her Starbucks and reads the Shopaholic series at night. No need to tell me about the secret caves. I may try to go there and do an Instagram shoot. I wouldn't actually do this. It, it, this is just my assumption as to what they would think I would do. Although, I feel like I would look cute beside a prehistoric stag painting. In our number five spot, we have the Issa Grand Shrine. 
in Japan, there is a shrine called the Isa Grand Shrine that is completely blocked off to anyone except royalty. Apparently, it's one of the most expensive shrines in the world, and because it follows Shinto traditions, which go back to the 8th century, the temple is rebuilt every 20 years. Feels a little unresourceful to me, but YOLO. The public is absolutely forbidden to enter its walls. Okay, first off, I bet we're not allowed in because these people are either one, doing some satanic sacrifice type ritual that people today would not be okay with and protest with metaphorical pitchforks, <laughs> or two, or maybe, maybe they are doing something just you know, religious. Or three, they are guarding an entrance to another world like Narnia or some kind of magical dimension or heck, maybe they're just performing some magical things in there. Maybe that's a sanctuary for the lizard people. I could brainstorm forever. In our number four spot, we have the Secret Elite Male Only Club. There is a male only club in California called Bohemian Grove that is extremely private and one can only enter if one has been invited. It is extremely secret and some people have tried to expose what happens there over the years, but still, much of what happens is a great mystery. All that is known is that there is a giant owl statue and people have claimed to have seen some kind of ritual there from across the lake. There are allegedly top government officials, politicians, entertainers, and people that are quite established in their field that go there. Some speculate that it's a satanic cult, but there is no proof. I would think that they would want us to believe that perhaps it's just some old men hanging out and bragging about their power, but something tells me that it's probably more than that. But the conspiracy theorists of the world go nuts contemplating what happens in this place. In our number three spot, we have Nihau Island. This is another island that is completely forbidden to the public. The island has about 160 inhabitants, and unless you have a relative on the island or you are part of the US Navy, you are not allowed. This island is located near Oahu, a famous Hawaiian island, and the reason it is so heavily protected, well, it is apparently to preserve the environment and wildlife. I wonder if that's the real reason, or perhaps there's something else that they're protecting the world from seeing, like real live fairies or giants. Or maybe that's where the original people from Atlantis actually went instead of Ireland, like some speculate. In our number two spot, we have Area 51. A part of me didn't want to include this one because everyone and their uncle knows about it due to the popular Hollywood films around it. But anyways, it's completely hidden off of Google Maps, but quite frankly, a lot of places are. That could be a whole other video. But also, clearly, the government does not want us to know what's happening inside of it. Area 51 is located in the state of Nevada and is interestingly enough inside a mysterious phenomena that is called the Nevada Triangle. A lot of mysterious planes and people disappear in the Nevada Triangle and I'm convinced it's the fault of the aliens in Area 51. Either that or there's a portal to another world. One of the two. Workers that have worked there have claimed to have worked on elements that don't seem to be from this world and pieces of metal that appear to be out of this world. But in any case, no one can deny that something strange is going on in there that would probably change the world as we know it, which is probably why we don't know about it and they probably ain't filling us in anytime soon. Let's be real. In our number one spot, we have the underground speed testing facilities. There are a lot of hidden underground testing facilities in the world dedicated towards testing speed. Allegedly, at Russia's Ministry of Defense headquarters, they have managed to create a missile that travels at a speed of Mach 7, and some also say Mach 9. Just to give you some perspective as to how fast that is, a plane travels at the speed of less than Mach 1, about Mach 0.75 to 0.85. So yeah, that's fast. Apparently there are plenty of US underground testing facilities that are rumored to have been testing at crazy speeds like this, but of course this is hidden and not common knowledge to the everyday folk. Also, apparently a Mach 5 plane is in the works and that is supposed to get you from New York to LA in 30 minutes. Imagine what a Mach 7 plane could do. Hopefully those planes will be effective in our lifetime, but who knows, maybe they already are for the elite. 
<laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching everyone. That's all the time I have for you today. I'm Melissa Milotti, your host, and you can follow me on Insta and YouTube at Melissa Milotti. Link is in the description box below. I hope you have a fabulous weekend and also have a good day. <laughs>